Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts, and welcome back to another episode of Share My Story Videos. I am making another episode of this because some of these videos are just really bizarre. Like, take a look at this one, for example. Look at the thumbnail. Without even knowing what the title of this video is, you'd think, well, actually, it says stepmom pregnant right there. Well, you know, it doesn't actually say how she got pregnant, but the title here... <laughs> <laughs> the title here is so ridiculous that you just have to do these things you know what i mean guys like you have to react to these because you're just like wait what and you're just like i gotta know so we're about to check it out right now because cool thing you dealt with that everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go my dad's a total jerk and not even good looking. that escalated quickly so how come he was able to marry lexi a stunning model who's been on the cover of vogue and Sexy dated lexi? several famous football players well, we live in South America, and my dad made lots of money taking backhanders. That's probably why he got Lexi, I'm just saying. Yeah, he was a corrupt politician who was giving government contracts to whoever paid the biggest bribe. That's why we lived in an enormous mansion, even though his government salary was less than $50,000 per year. How do I know all this? Well, my dad told me. He even tried to recruit me. He said I'd make lots of money. But I refused and told him that millions of people were living in poverty because of corrupt politicians like him. Ooh, tell him, son. Of course, son. he got tell angry him, boy. and yelled at me to be grateful for everything he'd bought for me. I didn't care, though. And the real victim was Lexi, anyway. After she got married to my dad, he treated her horribly. He'd make her dress in revealing maid costumes and ordered her to cook for him or clean the living room while he watched. Bruh. He seemed to get a kick out of having power over her. Okay, maybe you think Lexi deserved it. I mean, she only married Dad for his money, but yeah, she always yeah. seems so Who knows? Sad. Who knows the real answer? One day, I found Lexi crying. I asked what was wrong. All right, here we go, guys. she told me my dad had screamed at how her for he got hours his and said he'd pregnant. kick her out if she annoyed him again. I said I was sorry for how my dad was treating her, but suddenly, she pushed me back, straddled me, and started kissing me all over. Anybody who's a whippersnapper, and if you don't know what a whippersnapper is, if you feel like you may be a whippersnapper, cover your eyes right now, because Lexi is about to get a sexy. She whispered, show me how a real man treats a woman. Mm. I should have walked away, but <laughs> man, I was I know only that. You should have walked away. Having a gorgeous model come on to me was the best thing that had ever happened to me. As we were making out, I heard my dad walking towards the room. Do, 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 Lexi do. laughed and told me I had lipstick all over my face. I panicked and jumped behind the couch to hide. Dad came in and sat next to Lexi, saying, I've got a business trip this weekend. There will be You couldn't call her and tell her that? You had to actually barge in and sit down and say, I have a business trip this weekend. Plenty wow. of security guards around to keep an eye on you, and they'll notify me if you try to go anywhere. Damn. I recommend you don't make another mistake. Now give me a kiss. Oh, I wanted to throw up. Was my dad kissing the same woman I'd made out with two minutes earlier? Bro, of course he was. He married her. He was probably plowing her like a December snowstorm way before you even kissed her like that. Are you joking me, my guy? You don't think that they would have done anything like those weird noises that you're hearing from the room? They're not jumping on the bed. Gross. <laughs> but after he <laughs> left, Lexi and I started <laughs> kissing again. It Yo, was such a rush because I knew it was disgusting. wrong. And I never even held a girl's hand before, and now I was making out with a supermodel. You'd have done the same if you were me. And, uh, I don't know if it was my stepmom. Yeah, I probably would. Of course, if my dad found out, he would kill us. But I couldn't keep my hands off Lexi. Yeah, Our you affair more. went on for months. Whenever dad went out, Lexi and I hooked up. <laughs> even though she was older than me, <laughs> we fell in love. I gave her the kindness and affection my dad wouldn't. But then... Lexi fell pregnant. Mm. There was no doubt I was the father because it happened during one of my dad's business trips. Of course, we didn't tell my dad. He thought the baby was his. Uh, but after my daughter, Haley, yeah. was born, my dad became even more of an ass. He told Lexi she was fat and threatened to give Haley away if she continued screaming. Wow. Even though she was just a baby. Lexi and I thought about running away, but we didn't have the money. And my dad would have found us anyway. The animation The only is way we'd be smooth. free was if my dad died Smoothie. or went to jail. So, I came up with a plan. I told my dad I'd changed my mind about helping with his business deals. He was so happy. He said he'd never been prouder of me. Over the next few weeks, I went with him on business meetings with various companies. Actually, you know what? Now that I'm watching this video, the more I realize that the sun sucks. 
Like, this son is an asshole of sons. Like, he is on the top of asshole mountain of the assholiest of sons. Because, one, his dad, yeah, he might not be making his money the most legit way, but he's like, hey, sonny boy, come over here and sit on papa's lap. I'm going to give you some money, but you just got to come work for me. And this kid's like, no, Danny, I don't want to make money. I just want to bang out your wifey. It was shocking how open they were about bribing my dad and how much money they were going to make. They wouldn't have been so open if they'd known that I'd planted hidden microphones in Dad's office. This kid sucks. I was recording every I hate this word guy. they said. I want to punch him in his chin. After a few months, I had enough evidence to send my dad to prison for the rest of his life. Wow. But I had an even better idea. I decided to blackmail him. Bro was banging out this man's wife, a.k.a. his stepmom, and now he's bribing him. Wow. That was the hardest conversation of Actually, my life. Actually, bribing, I mean I'll never forget my dad's right? face when I told him... She's not your child. Mm. He said, what? I said, Haley, she's not yours. Ooh. I got Lexi pregnant while you were away on a business trip. Ah. My dad laughed. <laughs> That's the best joke I've heard in a while. <laughs> but I just glared at him and said, Haley's mine. Lexi and I are leaving today and taking her with us. We won't let our daughter grow up around oh, a monster. <laughs> That's when dad realized I was telling the truth. He shoved me up against the wall and snarled. You think you can sleep with my wife and I'll just let you go? I pushed him back and said, You treat your wife and my daughter like servants and we're not putting up with it. I've got hours of recordings which prove you've been taking bribes. If something should happen to me or my family, one of my friends will send them to every single journalist in this country, as well as the cops, wow, this is and really you'll go well to prison for the rest of your life. Dad's face went red. He was so angry, he punched a hole into the wall. But he knew he couldn't touch me. An hour later, Lexi, Haley, and I left my dad's house. We took his favorite car and $50,000 and moved into a $50, hotel. $50,000 in cash? I thought we had plenty and of money. And his favorite car? But we didn't. Might as well Lexi saw off his balls and bring it with you, too. She hated the cheap hotel we stayed in. After just three months, she'd spent all our money. She told me she couldn't survive like this and said she'd find someone else if I couldn't give her everything she wanted. Ooh. But how was I supposed to do that? I didn't have a job. I was barely out of high school. So, I went back to my dad and demanded five <laughs> million dollars. The stones on I this knew guy. we could afford it. The stones. He laughed in my face and said, Oh, I knew you were just like me. Didn't you say you wanted to earn your money legally? He was right. Maybe I wasn't any better than him, but I didn't care. I couldn't lose Lexi. This guy is I said, whipped. I know you have the money. Give it to me. And my dad replied, I'll give it to you tomorrow at noon, but you'll have to promise me you'll never ask for money again. I said, deal. I promise. Guys, what the hell's that? Why is this lady with the palest Momo looking skin in the world stroking a cat? Wow, it had actually worked. Dad gave me the money, and I could buy everything Lexi wanted again. Wait, 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 wait. Now the cat is on the other side, and she's looking the other way? What is this? We moved to a better hotel, and we were happy for a while. But over the next few months, I began to see why Lexi had married my dad. She was incredibly shallow and only cared about money. No, Although really? she was still the hottest woman I knew, <laughs> we had nothing in common, and she refused to act like a proper mom. One day, we had a big fight. I told her she was dressing like a tramp, and I didn't want her going out with Haley looking like that. She got really offended and said, Do you think it's fun staying in all the time with a little boy like you? That night, I slept on the couch, and when I woke up, the safe where we kept our money was gone, and so was Lexi. I was left with Haley, but no money to take care of her. I had no choice but to go back to my dad to get more money. This guy is such but a little went bitch, to always him, crawling back to he daddy. Said, Might as well you suck on his nipples. To ask for more money. I said, I don't care. Lexi stole everything from me. Just give me one million. That'll be enough for me. Dude this asked really for five million, then one million, and stole his car, anything. banged out his wife. Come he on, warned, bro. This will have consequences. I didn't know what he meant, and I didn't care. He gave me the money, and That's I drove blood back money. to the hotel Haley and I lived in. But a few days later, when I went to Haley's kindergarten to pick her up, they told me her mom and grandfather had picked her up already. My blood ran cold. A few minutes later, my cell beeped with a text from my dad. It read, Come to my house. We need to talk. Ooh. I didn't want to go, but I had to make sure Haley was safe. 
When I arrived, Dad was holding my daughter in his lap. She was sleeping and well. He said, So, my son, the tables have turned. Damn, I won't this is getting play interesting. your games anymore. Your daughter and Lexi will live far away from you. They'll be safe as long as you don't publish any of the recordings. I begged and pleaded. Don't take my daughter. I want to live with her. I'll, I'll give you back the million dollars if you'll just let me be with her. But my dad said, You're lucky she's still alive. And since I'm feeling generous, I'll let you see your daughter once a year. I looked at my sleeping child. She was so beautiful. I wanted to hold her tight and never let go, but I knew I had no choice. And so I went back to my hotel. What do these stories keep taking I realized these weird, I had a zigzaggy turns? And almost every freedom in the world. Life wasn't too bad, even though I missed Haley like crazy. That's why, over the next few months, I apologized over and over to my dad, hoping he'd change his mind. But he wouldn't. Since I didn't see Haley very often, she barely knew who I was when I visited her once a year. I took lots of photos of her while we were together, but she always looked sad and never called me dad. Mm. Seeing her like that broke my heart. She deserved better. I was desperate to do something, but Bro, since this story I couldn't ain't use over the recordings yet? I had, I didn't know what. Like you already the took I the fattest it, L. The only solution I could think of what was if my dad What could you possibly be died. talking about? Now, I'm not saying I planned his death. He was always surrounded by bodyguards, guys who'd been in the army. I wouldn't stand a chance against them. But one day, my dad was assassinated. No. Of course, it had nothing to do with me. Yeah, but it had nothing it to do with him. solved all you know? my problems. I, hate what I, mean. I got my daughter back and inherited all my dad's money. The only one who was left with nothing was Lexi. She came to see me and begged me to give her some money. I asked her, why should I give money to someone who stole from me? She replied, because your dad took all my money away from me, and I'm the mother of your child. Wow. In the end, we wow. agreed I'd pay her a small allowance as long as Haley lived with me. I hate giving money to a selfish woman like her, but at least I have my daughter back. And that's all that matters to me. Okay, well, I don't know why, but don't these stories always seem so freaking fake? But on the off chance that it is actually real, aren't you guys kind of curious how these people actually look like in real life? Like the dad, the son... The supermodel looking wife. Like, I want to see what they actually look like. So then maybe we could just be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. But watch this dude be the most butt ugly ass kid that we've ever seen this side of the Mississippi. And then the girl's not even a supermodel. She's just like your run of the mill model. I don't know. Okay, guys, don't ask me why I'm watching this, but I'm a little curious. And I know you guys are too. Once I tell you the title of this video, it is called I Am Breastfed at 16. My man's is about to have his driver's license sucking on mom's nipples. So let's check this out. Hey, I'm Chris, and I've always been very close with my mom. Yeah, I guess it's yeah, because my dad left us when I was a baby. That doesn't mean you got to suck on your mom's tits till you're 16. But you know what? To each their own. Ever since, our favorite activity was her breastfeeding me. That's your favorite activity? It's like, Mom, I'm bored. Can I suck on your... But on my 10th birthday, she asked me if I wanted to stop doing it. I was shocked <laughs> and started crying because I loved drinking my mom's milk. What the It tastes heck, much bro? better than cow milk. Because <laughs> even though it starts off a bit watery, after a few seconds, it gets really creamy. Whoa, Yum. whoa, what That's gets why creamy, I told bro? Her stop I would it. never stop drinking her milk. And to this day, every morning and every evening... My mom comes into my room to breastfeed me. I guess the only weird thing is that I'm 16. The only weird thing is that you're 16. Nah, no, bro, you're just weird in general, like super weird. I actually didn't know it was strange to be breastfed as a teenager because my mom homeschooled me until eighth grade. Uh, After that, that I went to a public though. school. And when I asked one of my classmates if he'd rather drink milk from a cow or from his mom, he started laughing because he <laughs> thought I was making a joke. But I don't think it's something to laugh about. I mean, what's wrong about being breastfed as a teenager? It tastes amazing. Bro, are you really going to give us a list of why sucking your mom's boobs is beneficial? You know what? I'll suck your mom's boobs. If I can get strong immunity, lower risk of allergies and sickness, optimal brain development. Oh yeah, give me that titty right now. There are lots of health benefits, and I have a really close relationship with my mom because of it. The only thing I wish is that my mom was less overprotective and less involved in my life. I often feel like I'm living in a bubble. Like, she won't let me play soccer with my classmates because she is worried about me being injured. And when I meet up with friends at a mall, 
She wears a wig and follows us wherever we go <laughs> to make sure I'm safe. Ding, 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 it's super annoying, <laughs> but most of the time... <laughs> she just, she like, pops out of nowhere just starts giving the titty to doesn't him. allow me to go outside at all. She says it's for my own safety, <laughs> but I think she's just jealous when I'm hanging out with my friends because she doesn't have any friends herself. Ooh. And if I should ever get a girlfriend, my mom would probably go crazy and try to destroy our relationship because I don't think she could handle sharing her son with another woman. Fine. <laughs> But isn't it a normal part of life to become independent of your parents? To move out and start your own life and your own family? Well, I know it will break my mom's heart, but as soon as I go to college, I will move out of her place. I haven't told her yet, but I already made the decision. Her style of parenting already made me become the weird kid in school. Because whenever something happens that I don't like, I just start crying or screaming. Mm. I know it's immature, but I can't help it. My emotions just take over. It's because of the breast milk, man. It's the breast milk. Like one time a classmate of mine took a potato from my plate and ate it. He knew I would get upset about it. But he probably didn't expect what I did next. I got so mad that I threw the rest of my plate into his face and then I started screaming as loud as I could in the middle of our cafeteria. Bro, this man. It took me a few seconds to realize that I had embarrassed myself in front of my whole school. It was the most pathetic moment in my life. And now everybody thinks that I'm a complete weirdo. I actually blame my mom for me being so immature. She homeschooled me until I was 14. Yeah, you and I never had any tits, other though. kids to play with. So I never learned the rules of how to interact with other people. I guess she is scared of losing me and wants me to stay immature. So that I'll never move out of her home. That's why I recently told her I wanted to join the military once I turned 18. I was just joking. But she almost had a heart attack and started Jeez. begging me not to do it. She said it's too dangerous for a little boy like me. I got angry and wanted to tell her I'm not a little boy anymore. But then she offered me to play hide and seek again, just like in the old times. It's a game where my mom hides somewhere inside our house and once I find her, I can drink her milk as a reward. <laughs> my tits really oh my god this freaking kid dude he's so surprised that people think he's the weird kid in school but he playing hide and go suck my fat tits with his mom with his mom not with a girlfriend not with one of his friends that might have man boobs but his mom he is sucking on his mom's tits after playing hide and go seek He's actually playing hide and go T. We hadn't played this game in years. That's so I insane. got really excited, and we ended up playing for hours. <laughs> He's just like found ya, <laughs> found your mom. <laughs> oh, there you are hiding under the table, mom. Give me those titties. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying right now, man. I hope my neighbors don't hear me. It felt so good and comforting because it was just like in the old times. But afterward. I realized my mom had tricked me into being a little boy again. It's all a part of our selfish plan to keep me immature. Anyways, for the next two years, I will continue to live with my mom, and I'm not planning to stop Don't show that. Soon. Don't show that. I simply enjoy Grown it Grown ass much. man on the boots. But I do know that at some point, I need to grow up and become independent of my mom. Because right now, I'm a pathetic weasel that can't even pathetic take care weasel. of himself. That's an understatement. So if I ever want to have a wife and kids... I first need to become a mature and reliable man. You ain't never getting mature. Anyways, if you're gonna suck thank on you that. for listening to my story, and please subscribe to this channel. Okay, that was actually really good. That was actually really entertaining. A good story. I feel like I believe it. Let's see what people said. Use me as a what the fuck did I just watch button? <laughs> it was time for Thomas to leave. He had seen everything. <laughs> It starts the water and it gets creamy. <laughs> Everyone know and get the boo. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> he has to breastfeed because his dad never came back with the milk. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> These comments are so gold. <laughs> <laughs> it was the most embarrassing moment of my life dude you literally drink mom titty milk <laughs> him everyone thinks i'm a weirdo also him it starts off a little watery then turns creamy <laughs> <laughs> These freaking comments is so good, dude. <laughs> Why do I feel like he's gonna ask his girlfriend to breastfeed? <laughs> <laughs> what his mom does? He's probably gonna drink her ashes like protein powder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying, bro. Fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. 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 Wow. All right, guys, but that's going to do it for this episode of reacting to more of these share my story animations. They are ridiculous, but I am having a great time. I am laughing so freaking hard. Hopefully, you guys are entertained as well. If you guys want to see me react to any more of these videos or any other animations on the internet, please let me know what types of animations you'd like me to react to. And if you enjoyed this particular series, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude! <laughs>